welcome to Little House in the Big Woods. Today I'm going to show you how I make my butter. <laughs> I don't always make it, but today, today I did run out of butter here. And um, so I had some extra cream in the fridge. I only put it in here because I like the look of it better. So. This is just cream from the store for right now. I used to get cream down in the valley when I lived down in the valley from a farmer, but you can go to your local store and get cream, whole whipping cream. So this is just a quart. And this is uh, a 1915 butter churner. Found a, a yard sale. Works like that. You can see it has a paddle in there. But I found this at a yard sale for $10 over the summer. So I said, why not? I am an old fashioned gal and like old fashioned things. So we'll see how we can. make some butter today. I gotta get it on there just so or it won't work right. Let's see if it's on there. I think it's on there, right? So we're going to go ahead and get started on that. Uh, usually takes me about a half hour. Oh, I'm sorry about that. So that happens sometimes. This is an old, old little butter churner. I have a few other things that are hand cranked as well. I have a ice cream maker over here. And I also have a grain grinder that I got, and I got some wheat berries from Amazon that I was going to, I mean, I, we tried it. I wasn't impressed with this grain grinder, but I wanted to show you what I, what I got the other day, a while back, we, the power went out. And I was turning some of this butter. Here I sat in the dark with the candle turning this butter because I had already started, so I wanted to finish it. But I'm not sure I'm going to be able to sit here and make this whole video about turning this butter, but I sure wanted to show you. How this butter churner worked. I had never seen one of these butter churners like this before. But I had churned butter before with uh, maybe one of those wooden ones or something like that. I've done butter churning with shaking out a jar, making that. Um, we use this cream that we get the whole whooping cream. That's how we make our ice cream too. And this ice cream maker, it's a butter churn, or excuse me, it's a hand crank ice cream maker as well. Kids and I made some uh, vanilla ice cream the other day. Turned out pretty good. Uh, they didn't want to sit there and crank it the whole time, so we did end up putting it in the freezer for a little bit of the time. And all that's doing is making that paddle go back and forth. So I got my little doll over here. I made me this 
this rag doll. Made her a little dress. And she's got undershorts. I do have to finish her, but I have not been feeling the greatest, so she's not done yet, but I'll get her done. I've got some bacon here I got today. I'm going to take this pork belly we got in the freezer and take it out and put it in the fridge to cure so we can smoke our own bacon. We butchered some, some pigs last year before we moved here. And so we've had that in the freezer. So it's time to get that out and get going. And what kind of things you do in your home it might be kind of old fashioned. Maybe you've had your own butter churner, or maybe you make your own ice cream. There was an old uh, Civil War recipe for snow ice cream. You use flavored snow for ice cream. We got plenty of snow here. We still got around 40 inches of snow and it was spitting snow yesterday and we're maybe have some more snow at the end of this week. But my lettuce started sprouting. Uh, nothing else has sprouted yet, but at least we got some lettuce sprouting and some kale as well. So I'll have to take a picture and show you what that looks like. I got my big quilt almost all done. Needs to be sent off here soon. Um, I just got to do the tie. I have. I'm going to start on my son's quilt. He, uh, I've been wanting to make him a wolf quilt for quite a long time. So I ordered the panel and it has a wolf that's going to go in the middle of it. It'll be nice. This does take quite a while. But slow and steady runs the race. Kids were out. Oh, I don't know. In the last week, and they were trying to forge their own knives. We, they were unsuccessful, but they did make some handles for our knives out of wood and out of a parry cord. They found some extra parry cord. But they, um, they're not going to give up where they're, they're going to take some rebar and see if they can get that. But the key is getting that fire hot enough and I'm not quite sure they're going to get that fire hot enough. So, well, I may try again. not quite ready. We are pretty watery. Runny actually. It does quite take quite a bit of time to do this. Has anybody ever carried any bacon and smoked bacon? I'm sure you all have, but maybe you can. We haven't yet to 
This will be the first time we're curing our bacon. We've done hams before, but not, not our own bacon yet. We did have, we, we did have, we did three pigs last year. Butchered three pigs. And we butchered them ourselves. And I rented the lard from them. And all my lard's all gone now, so I'm hoping we get a, another pig in the spring. My husband's saying, I think I'm just going to buy the pig whole and then we'll not worry about feeding it because the cost of feed's going up. One will not say for him to worry about, I guess, bringing up and back. He's the one usually having to get feed from the valley and whatnot. But I don't mind taking care of them. Well, we got this, the goat and the sheep out there. They're fun to watch. The little goat out there, he likes to... <laughs> They headbutt each other and going at it and stuff, but they'd be nicer if we had a, a barn, but yeah, we did not get here in time to build nothing that would accommodate, so we just made make-do shelters for all of our animals, and it's not something that is going to be a long-term thing. But in time, oh. well, I'll come back when I got this all going to go and show you what it's going to look like. Okay, so it's been, oh, I would say probably about an hour and a half. And look what we got. Butter. Butter is something that you just want to do when you are watching a video. Taking your time, because it does take a little bit of time. Got a little bit more in here. Oops, I still have some. I did drain off some of the, should have grabbed me a towel. Let's see here. Buttermilk. Okay, so there's our butter. And I made some homemade butter to our homemade bread today. One of the kids thought they'd be helpful and look at it while it was rising and actually make the bread fall down. But here's our homemade bread. And home churned butter. There you go. Now yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. <clears throat> and I hope that you can share some hope or joy with somebody and just pass that along. Be somebody's light. <clears throat> at the end of the day so thank you for stopping by the little house in the big woods and I hope you have a great day and 
don't want to touch that because I got my butter, but one of the things I wanted to ask is if you wanted to see a tutorial about how to make a little rag doll if you guys are interested. Alright, well have a good day. Thank you for coming by a Little House in the Big Woods. Goodbye.